hey oh, it's Tail. We are done with character creation, and now I'm just going to go over a couple options that you need to set up in order to do the run. Uh, the only gameplay options I recommend are starting with autosave turned on, so that you can create an autosave at the first cutscene of the game, that you can reload to quickly restart runs without having to recreate your character. It's optional, but it gets real old making the character every time. The other option in here is panning speed. I recommend having it turned up. You don't have to. You can absolutely do the run with a slower panning speed, but it does help. The weird thing is you do have to activate edge panning in order to turn the speed up. After that, you can disable edge panning if you don't want to use it. Under key bindings, the only required changes are the mouse scroll down for interact. Uh, we use this in order to do the jump through the wall on the nautiloid. Uh, other than that, it's all up to you. I personally like to make an easier tactical camera. I place on tab and I place my jump on tilde so it's closer to where my hand is resting. Under video, it is... You can run this game at any graphics settings, but I do recommend low and lower resolution uh, in order to speed up some of the cutscene stuff and some of the dialogue skips, and just so your computer can run it a little easier. Uh, frame rate cap, I put at 60. There are some tricks that are being worked on that might require a lower frame rate, but they are, I won't talk about those in any of these videos, so don't worry about that. The frame rate cap should honestly be at 60 even for your regular run of the game because there's some issues that happen with pop-up text uh, at higher frame rates. The only other th change I would say is you can use slow HDD mode if you're having some issues with cutscenes. I had issues with cutscenes not skipping quickly for a while. Uh, slow HDD mode did make a difference there. And then finally, if you want and run an NVIDIA card, you can run NVIDIA DLSS on performance. On interface, the only settings that are necessary here are for your, when you start, you want your hotbar options to add some items to the hotbar so that you have things you can move around for animation canceling if you plan on doing that. Animation canceling is a trick that is not required to get a good time but if you're trying to push for a world record, chances are you're going to need to do some of it. And finally, accessibility. Uh, we do not change anything here. I personally turn off camera shake and I turn off uh, some of the... I turn I, if, it, if your longer press and hold is on, I recommend turning that off. And then show genitals if you're streaming, definitely turn that off. Uh, that is it for these settings and the next video we will be back with the nautiloid.